watch the full video till the end, make the necessary changes, and then check the huge benefits you're going to get. Now, first things first, let's start with the obvious, okay? Your game, if you have an SSD, your game should be installed there. Just install it there. Let's say it's not installed on an SSD. Let's pretend this one is not an SSD. Oh, let's pretend this one is not an SSD here. I have the game here. I can just move this game, okay? I can just cut this game, and I'm going to do it now. Move it here. Like this. Wait for a while, and we're done. Our game is now on this SSD called Games SSD. Makes sense. Now, start the launcher again, just like normally, and you won't see the play button. And you shouldn't. It, you will see an install button. And don't panic. Everything is alright. Click here on set the path to existing game installation. Choose this drive. Choose Escape from Tarkov. Select folder. And then we're going to wait a bit. And there we have it. Our game is now on an SSD. It will perform better, it will load faster, and it's essential for the next step. Moving your paging file to the same SSD where the game is, is going to eliminate the freezes. It's going to eliminate also stuttering and improve the performance. But the freezes are gone. Let me show you how to move this file. Click on the start menu or on the search bar and write performance. Click on adjust appearance and performance on Windows. Now once in the performance options menu, go to advanced and you're going to see virtual memory down here. Click on change and remove it from it's usually on C. It's usually on C and it's a system managed size. What you want to do is to move it from there if your game is not on C. Let's say this is your only SSD. I still recommend partitioning your drive, even if that's the case. But still, uh, if it's there already, just leave it, but increase the size. So in my case, we moved the game to game SSD. So instead of system, I will go to custom size. And what I choose for myself, because I have a big SSD here, I choose 16 gigabytes minimum and then 32 gigabytes maximum size. You can go with lower, but I recommend at least 8 gigabytes. You're going to click on set. Okay, you will probably have apply and it will ask you to restart your computer. You don't have to do it now. We're going to do that later once we are done with the video and, and all of the adjustments we are doing here. Now let's address the stutters in this game. To address the stuttering, we are going to go in the graphic options in the game. So let's start up the game here. Once the game is started in the graphic settings, make sure you're running the game in full screen mode. The first and most important options in the graphic menu would be your texture quality. This is what is causing the game to stutter and sometimes freeze because it's very dependent on your dedicated WAM size. So, so follow these guidelines. If you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, definitely choose low textures. Definitely. Now, if you have between 8 and 16, around 16 or 16 exactly, you should go with medium or low again. Depends on how you prefer your game. If you have over 32 gigabytes, then you can choose the high texture quality setting. Now in my case, I stay at medium, shadows definitely go low. Object LOD, minimum. Overall visibility, this depends. I recommend between 400 and 1000. I always go for 400. I don't recall a situation where I didn't have enough visibility even when sniping. No. Antialyzing, you go TAA or TAA high. Resampling, one, which means off. Now, for the DLSS or the FSR 2.2, with the last patch, they've changed those. They are actually kind of good now if you have a lower end PC or you want to increase performance a lot. This will boost your FPS with around 30 to maybe even 40. You can choose quality options for both. If it's a very low end PC, you can go with balanced. 
uh, but the visibility starts to be a little bit questionable let's say especially long distance explore those options they're good options if your game is running really bad but let's stick to increasing the performance without them now going further everything goes off h hbao of ssr of no filtering now for nvda reflex go with on plus boost sharpness this is your personal preference i go with 0.2 now one last option you need to disable actually is the is the <laughs> how do you read this is the binary sound binary audio make sure to disable this it's not functioning well right now maybe if they fix it it will be useful but right now it's not providing any sound benefits for you but it gives you a huge performance hit so make sure to disable it for now in the future when they fix it and if it's very beneficial you can enable it again that's it for the in-game settings let's save everything exit the game and i'll show you the next trick now what's next you're asking we're going to remove the full screen optimization i recommend you do this to every single game so we're navigating to our game folder here it is and on both escape from tarkov and escape from tarkov battle eye right click properties go to compatibility and make sure to check disable full screen optimiz optimization optimization can't speak go apply do the same for the next file properties compatibility disable now this will not only improve your performance it will also eliminate this weird bug minimizing bug that some people have i had myself on one of my pcs when i play the game in the full screen mode it will sometimes just minimize by itself and i'll have to click on the game and you can imagine in battle if that happens i'm fucking raging okay so that's for this part let's move to the next thing which will be nvda control panel setup now first it's very important to always update your drivers if you have a geforce graphics card you can go to geforce experience and just update from here you can also download the new driver as you can see i have a driver available let's update this driver you click on download then you wait for the download to complete and then i'll take you to the next steps this is only for geforce graphic cards now once that's downloaded just click express installation you can also do a clean driver install which is always better i will not be showing this in this video but i can make a separate video now that our drivers are updated let's start with optimizing the nvda settings for the best performance for any game really because we are optimizing for any game not just tarkov but those work perfectly with tarkov and how demanding this game is so we're going to right click on the screen or you should also see it here and you're going to open nvda control panel once that's opened first we're going to go to adjust image settings with preview and now we're going to select use the advanced to the imaging settings then you can click on take me there or you can just click on manage 3d settings here both work the same now here comes the important part in the preferred graphics processor make sure if especially if you're using a laptop to choose the high performance gpu let's start with image scaling for some games this is very beneficial make sure you set it to on if it's an old game or a new game you can use lower resolution scale it a bit to see bigger some people use this in csgo i know i did myself and then you can adjust the sharpness from here enable that now let's scroll down make sure everything here is off make sure gamma correction is also on important thing you need to set is background applications max frame rate this will help when you're playing tarkov and if you have other applications running they will use less of the performance of your pc now some people set it to 20 i don't recommend this let's say you're watching a video on the other screen watching your buddy's stream in discord if you're playing tarkov with a friend make sure you set it to at least 30 so the other screen is not a comic book could the gpus use all now on low latency mode make sure to use alter here next thing for opengl rendering gpu select your gpu in my case that's a 3050 ti a laptop gpu i'm doing this on my laptop and the comparison you're going to see will be the laptop 
before the optimization and then the laptop with all of the optimizations I'm showing you right now. The next thing, power management mode, very important. Prefer maximum performance here. Shader cache size, leave it as a driver default. Now this thing I can't really say, Anisot hmm. Anisotopic sample optimization, I think it says. Turn this to off, I leave this to allow, and then on quality, go to performance high performance now we're leaving the filtering here and then on threaded optimization we're going to use on this will utilize all of your cpu cores low latency mode make sure you use ultra here now the rest of the settings they can stay the same now after that go to set site set set something x configuration is it site physics physics <laughs> physics configuration and here make sure to choose your dedicated GPU. Hit apply. And after all of the settings are applied, we're done with this part of the guide. Now in this tool, it's pretty straightforward. Here we're going to use the recommended settings from the creator of this tool. Go to actions, apply only recommended settings. Hit OK and that's it. Now the next optimization is we're going to want to enable this ultimate performance power plan for your computer. Now if you don't see this in your power options, how to go to power options you ask, you go to the search bar, go to power, you find choose power plan, there you have it. If you don't have it here, you have to enable it. There is a couple of ways, I will show you one, we are going again to the search bar or start menu. You write in CMD, right click it, run as administrator, and then paste this line I have included in the description down below, hit enter, and what this is going to do for you, as you can see, it will introduce the ultimate performance plan, and this is the plan you want to use. Let's start with optimizer. Here we're going to disable a couple of things. Most of those we don't need. Make sure you double check if you need this service, leave it enabled. You can always revert here, no worries. Okay, now we're going to hit optimize performance, optimize network, disable error reporting, disable compatibility assistant, print service, fax service. Also, I will disable sticky keys. We're going to disable the smart screen. We're going to disable hibernation. We can use sleep instead. Never like this feature. Disable telemetry. Disable Firefox telemetry. Chrome. NVDA. Disable Visual Studio. Disable telemetry tasks here. We're going to disable. We're going to disable media player sharing and home groups. This is for the general tab. Now we're moving to the Windows tab here. We're going to disable people. That's not a service I'm using. Long path, TPM checks, sensor services, remove cast. This is personal preference, classic volume mixer or not. It has no impact on the performance. Now for Windows update, disable insider service. And we're going to exclude any drivers from the updater. We can update those manually that would be gpu drivers and so on we want to do that manually now for privacy we're going to disable everything we don't need any spying on us guys now in gaming we're going to enable gaming mode in touch disable everything this is for windows 10 i will show you on the screen how it should look for windows 11 if that's what you're rocking i don't like it personally i've tried it i had to revert i even had to reinstall my gaming pc that's it for this tool. You can restart now or just wait till the end of the video. What you're seeing on your screen, guys, is on the left side. This is a video of the game, how it's running before the optimization. Say on the right, we have the game after the optimizations. Keep in mind that we're using the same in-game settings in both videos, which means that the video on the left was already at least a little bit optimized. Keep also in mind that the video on the right, as you can see, we have fog, we have bad weather, which always results worse performance. But as you're going to see in the video, that's actually not the case because of all of the optimizations. On the video on the left, we have a drop below 60 FPS. And as you know, in shooters, that's a big problem. The looting menu, there is a big difference in that too. We have 70 compared to 
91. Well, guys, if this video helped you kill more Timmy's, which it definitely did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more videos coming for you. They will help you be better at the game. Kill more Timmy's. Kill cheaters. I can do that. See more in the game. Manage your inventory. Kill teammates again. Shoot better. Shoot more accurately. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Good luck on your raids, guys.